Hey, hey. Happy hump day. Welcome back to Cloud Thrive, where we continue to build strong, rise with intention, and thrive with courage and confidence. You are with your favorite life coach, Day Juan, here in D.C. A couple of things before we get started. I need you to like, subscribe, and share this video, this channel, this whole community. I'm gonna continue to build this. I do not want to be a trend. I want to be a change, a permanent change for positivity and growth. That is where I am, that is who I am, and that is what, a, what I will continue to do. So with that, today's conversation is gonna be centered around capacity. Why capacity? Because last week we talked about fail safes and sometimes while we're moving forward and we're planning goals and we're doing great things, we sometimes forget we can plan all we want. We can put fail safes in place all we want. Sometimes we forget the people who are still around us and we forget to take those in, those those different relationships into consideration. I am prepared to go over four, maybe five, but hopefully four areas that we are ignoring when we start talking about our own capacity and what we have the potential to do while we continue to be positive, moving forward and thriving. Number one making our opinions or our emotions priority. Number two, let's talk about number two. When something is important to us, why don't we bring it up? Why don't we bring it up? If it's important to you and the people that you're with, you feel care enough about you, where's the courage to speak up? And if you don't have the courage to speak up, Think about why we may not be able to do it in that moment. Is it not the right time? Is it not the right space? Do you feel like it would be better if you were to write it out or if you were to have a phone call or it's something more intimate where you need to begin to figure out a better way to be received? Take a pause. Work through what you need to do to be received. It's not that you're just saying it. Things can get lost in communication, but you also wanna make sure that what you're saying, you're being heard from all senses. Not just the words coming from your mouth, but sometimes the tone in our voice, our visual appearance and, and our space of thinking, it's all very important. So when we're talking, when we're sharing something that's very important to us or very dear to us, find the courage to speak up. There are multiple ways to share and convey what you're feeling to the other person. Now you could, some of the suggestions that I've gotten from clients as they've started to step into the space is Type an email out, put it in your drafts folder, and then don't send it. A couple other clients have like chosen to simply send a text message. Have you been in a situation where you've gotten a text message and you didn't get the full sentiment of the message, you didn't get the tone, you didn't get anything, and there were certain words in that message that was capitalized and it shouldn't have been capitalized and you feel some kind of way about it? Mm-hmm. That part. That part right there. So... Take that into consideration. Also, sometimes we, we don't take it into consideration, but we all learn differently. We all receive differently. What can that look like? Over your time or over the time you've spent with certain people, you've picked up a couple things. You've learned a couple things. Try adding that to the conversation. It might help. Number three. Now, have you ever been in a situation where you've exhausted yourself, just throwing it all in, not even 100%, but like 500%, and for some reason, you begin to get that feeling in your belly and in your heart that people just aren't understanding that you are exhausted? Can we ask how come? I'm going to be the first one to share with you at times I find myself doing this. I don't clearly communicate it. Sometimes I'm in this space of, 
How come they just don't get it? How come they don't know me? They should already know that I'm tired. It doesn't work like that. Let's go back to part two a little bit. And we start talking about... People receive differently. We ourselves receive differently. So, this applies. We have to communicate. When we're able to open the the wall of communication, we begin to break down and become more vulnerable. Now, in order to have a very clear and, and engaging conversation at times, we could think about What's going to make the other person feel safe in this conversation? And we can also be very clear that you want to have a conversation to start breaking down walls. I've seen this be a very helpful tool with a lot of people that I've had the opportunity to engage with is that we start talking about, it always comes back, it always comes back to, am I safe? Am I going to be able to be vulnerable and share what's really going on with me? without being judged, without being pointed at or picked at? Um, Is this going to come back in my face? At the end of the day, you're going to say what you need to say and what you're going to be able to identify what your needs are, what that looks like for you unapologetically. Unapologetically. Because you are you and nothing and no one is going to change that. So, again, when you're over-exhausted, and there is nothing left to give, and you've even exhausted that. You have dug deeper than you thought you needed to. Communicate that. Share that if you can. Four. We're touching on four. Four. We got to five. I was only going to do four, but we got to five. We did. This entire video was really about stepping outside of ourselves and really fixing how we communicate with one another and being okay with understanding that there's always room for growth. Always room for growth. This video was about communication and how we can continue to work forward to improve how we communicate with one another. How we could really talk about how we're being received and how other people receive us and to make us more aware of how intentional we either are or shine a light on how we need to be very intentional about how we communicate. This is the greatest opportunity to start sharing. Comment down below of some of the topics that you'd like to see, some of the topics that you'd like for us to cover. I'm excited to hear it. This is really a conversation. And if you're from DC, I know we oftentimes get pushed into this bucket of, oh my God, it's a political climate. It's such a political landscape versus the rest of DC that's like, hey, this is my home. I just want to live. I want to exist. I want to thrive. I want to be successful. And with all of that, it's possible. It's very possible. Next week, I am beyond excited to have conversations about thinking outside of our own boxes. If you want to hear something different, we can do that too. But it's really, how do we think outside of our own box? How do we deal with opposing thoughts? Oh, that's interesting. That's real interesting. 